Hey guys, I wanted to hit on astrology for a few minutes. Um, it's it's something that I have uh, a little bit of background with, mostly about the sun signs. I always found them interesting. I, I've uh, been able to um, guess people with signs, or at least the element, fire, earth, air, water, um, after meeting them on numerous occasions. Um, and it's really cool because it's it's um, it just gives you insight into somebody's... Um, way of being a little bit more than you would if you didn't have the information if you didn't have their their birth birth sign their sun sign it, it just it just gives you a little more insight into what makes them tick um so let me touch on a little bit on astrology i'm, I'm going to give you um an angle that you're not typically going to get uh, i i feel like i'm looking at it more well-roundedly than uh those who might get into the super detailed nuts and bolts of astrology i'm going to look at it more more in a well-rounded manner and I, I think it'll be a value um, when you when you hear uh, how I describe it. I'm not going into like super detail. Like I said, just want to touch on a little bit for now. So when you hear about somebody being a certain sign, um, well, I'm just going to throw one out there, uh, a Libra or a Virgo or one of those, you know, a sun sign. So you hear someone is a sign. You're a sign, right? Someone, you have one of the 12 signs. There's 12 of them. So you're telling me that if you take all seven or eight billion of us on the planet, yeah, there might be as much as eight billion. It's definitely more than what what's kind of been reported, but that's extraneous information at this point. So seven, eight billion people, you're going to have what, 12? You're going to divide it into 12 different groups and have like 700, 700 million-ish people per sign? I mean, my God. That's that's crazy, right? That doesn't work. You don't have 12 personality types in the world. You have millions of personality types in the world. Yes, that's true. That's true. Your horoscope sun sign does not, I repeat, does not tell you everything about this person. It just gives you a little insight. How does that work? Well, the astrology sun sign that you are is real. It has an influence. It, there is a validity to it. But it's an influence. It's a a push. You have you have who you are before you were born into this body. You're the real you, your soul, your 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 deeper self, your higher self, whatever you want to call it. Your real you, the um, the one that has many experiences for many lifetimes through the reincarnation cycle, right? So there's the you, the real you. There's also this version of you in this physical lifetime, and in the, that's where the astrology comes in because there's a little push. In a, in a, there's a certain, it's a push. It just gives you a little influence. So a sign that's known to be really good at saving money and not spending money um, you know, um, that they don't have. Well, that doesn't mean that if you're the sign that saves money and doesn't like to spend it, that doesn't mean that you're going to be good with money and saving it. It just means that if you were a different sign, you would be even worse at, at, at spending money, at saving money. I'm sorry. Um, that didn't come out super clear. Um, so uh, uh, Capricorn. Capricorns are known to have a negative, uh, relatively negative overall outlook on things. So if you are a Capricorn and you're, you know, and you have a very negative outlook and you're like totally fit the bill of a Capricorn because you have, tend to have a negative outlook, well, okay. So then you have another Capricorn who's very positive and optimistic. And seems to always see the, the the glasses half full. Both of these people are Capricorns, but they're opposite with the positive or the negative outlook. So again, how does this astrology thing work? Well, because they're a Capricorn, whoever they are as a person, and you know whoever they truly are. Now in this physical form, being a Capricorn, whoever they truly are, they're going to be pushed a little bit in the direction of seeing the world maybe slightly more negative having a little bit of a negative outlook, a little bit more so than they normally would have. The first person I named who has the real negative outlook, that, that Capricorn influence of having a negative outlook, it just kind of matched what they already had and just pushed them a little bit more negative than they were already. The other person with the really positive outlook, well, the, the little push in the negative direction not doesn't really register too much because they still they still have a very positive outlook. If they weren't a Capricorn and they were a different sign that generally has a sunnier disposition, they would be even more optimistic. You see what I'm saying here? It's a, it's a push. Your numerology, 
your numerology has an influence as well. It has a push. It does not define you. Your astrology does not define you. It just has a push. How you were raised by your parents, your upbringing, it, it colors, influences, it changes, it, it manipulates how you present yourself to others and how you think and, and how you react to things. You're, how you were raised, it does not define you. It is an influence. So, yes, astrology is one of many influences that just nudges you into a certain direction. That's all. Um, okay, so in the other part, the other part that uh, I really don't hear a lot, uh, a lot of information about, I'm sure it's out there, but it's just not commonly shared, is that when you have a sign, you have to take into account the maturity of the soul. I, I, now, again, if, if reincarnation is like really out in left field for you, I don't know. This might not be too meaningful for you. But, yeah, so an, a younger, newer soul, an, a more immature soul is a certain horoscope sign. But you can have the same horoscope sign with a very a wise and old and mature soul. So you have an old soul with a, with a certain sign, a horoscope sign, and then you have a younger soul with the same sign. Well, that sign is going to be manifesting in a in more immature way or a more mature way. Um, there are certain signs that have um, a lot of uh, fire and passion and and um, um, you know, just they're just real like uh, an Aries. Aries is a fire sign. Is Aries tends to be very action oriented. Uh, they'll speak before they that they think about it and just you know they'll just just let you know how they're feeling uh, straight up. Now a more um, like a younger soul who happens to be in Aries is probably going to get into Fist fights over, you know, more fist fights than maybe some of their their friends. They're gonna tend to be a hothead, maybe. But then you have an older soul who's in Aries, and they can channel that fire in a more productive manner. Again, that's just uh, an example. Um, yeah. If you have any questions, let me know.